Hey guys, this is James back again with another video. Today I'm shooting this video on the G9 using Vlog L. I recently bought the Vlog L. Uh, did a wedding, so I wanted a third camera to match, kind of match with the Pocket 4K and the S5, so I decided to get the Vlog L. Um, I'll probably do a future video on the Vlog L and matching um, or using lenses with the Vlog L. Uh, I'm shooting this video with the G9 Vlog L and a Mika Mecca uh, Cine lens, which I was um, uh, very kindly loaned by Mark Lowen, who's um, becoming a really cool guy to know. So thanks, Mark, for the lend uh, of this lens. He's he's got nearly the whole collection of Mika Cine lenses. In fact, I think so. I'm gonna have a play about with those and uh, upload some videos which would be quite cool today it's a video of a combination i've used before uh but i just i just want to talk about it i mean the combination is the gx85 with the uh 14 to 140 vision one lens and um it's a, it's a solid lens. It's a solid lens uh, because of the 14 to 140. So whenever I go out, uh, I always take a camera. It's just what I do, like many of you out there. Um, you know, If you're watching this channel and you've subscribed, you're clearly a bit of a camera freak like myself. And uh, so yeah, so whenever I go out and I wanna take pictures or video, um, I often think, what lenses can I take? Now, the beauty of this lens is it kind of covers all bases in terms of focal range. You know, it's a 28 to 280, so that's that's a hell of a lot of uh, focal lengths covered in just one lens. Um, and that is just fantastic for any day trips or traveling or anything like that. Um, you don't have to put multiple lenses in your bag. You've got one lens that can go from wide to extreme telephoto. Now, the downside to this lens is the fact that it's uh, quite a slow lens and optically not the best performer. But I'm okay with that because uh, most of the time I'm using it for day, you know, for day trips is because it's a day trip and it's in the day and not the night. So... Uh, obviously, if I was going out for the night and shooting low light, then obviously I'd have to rethink my inks and pick a different lens or a couple of different lenses. But just for your general out and about with the family kind of stuff, it's really nice. Uh, now, I've used this for stills um, quite quite often recently. And um, if you want to check out some stills I've done, then go on to my Instagram, which is uh, at Jimmy Suarez, and uh, you'll see a lot of GX85 photos with this lens and other uh, Lumix camera and uh, Panasonic camera uh, combos with vintage lenses and, and modern lenses and so on and so forth. Um, so use this a lot for stills, but I wanted to get a bit of video with this as well. So went out with the family yesterday, went to uh, Butte Park in Cardiff and uh, lovely day nice and sunny and I took some images some video with this combination and I was really 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 impressed with the quality it's everything looked great and colorful and bright and sharp and just really nice and with the dual IS going on with this uh, as well you know did need a tripod a lot of handheld stuff zooming right into so really good combination so i just wanted to make this video to show you this this uh bit of footage i managed to get with this combination and just to basically wax lyrical about this uh this lens oh, there goes a fucking email. so yeah uh do you have the 14 to 140 uh do you have the other version i've not used the other version uh, i think there's two versions of this lens uh, let me know of your thoughts on that and uh, if it's worth perhaps getting the second version over the first version. Um, yeah, let me know if you rock this combination or what your preferred 
uh, out and about kind of combination is and uh, yeah so that's me done enjoy the video and uh, I'll speak to you soon goodbye